Hello and welcome, Joey4Track here, and today I have a special treat for you guys. This is the brand new closed beta of Risk of Rain, uh, available just a couple hours ago to anybody who pledged $25 or more to their Kickstarter, uh, which they earned four times what they asked for. And uh, you will see why here in a minute because we're going to get into this awesome game. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Risk of Rain is a action platformer with roguelike elements. Uh, think Splunky, Binding of Isaac, uh, you know, roguelike likes are all the rage right now. And I am not going to complain about that. Uh, big fan of roguelikes. Been a big fan of roguelikes for a long time. It's nice to see that difficulty coming back into these games. So anyway, what we have here in this brand new version, we have local co-op, which is awesome. I'll get, probably do some videos of some co-op later. Uh, we have an item log here. Uh, I did test it out just for recording purposes, so I haven't really, you know, this is going to be a first impression for me, but look at all these items. Some of these you can unlock, and they tell you what you need to do to unlock them. Uh, but yeah, there's about 50 some items here. And options, yeah, yeah, the monster log, which is going to be great. There's nothing in there right now, I don't think. But, um, let's get right into it. Okay, uh, okay, we have some new characters here. We have, this is like a new robot dude. Uh, he's very m melee uh, from just the few little bit that I checked out. And they show everybody's four, uh, four special skills they have, sort of. Um, this guy I think you have to unlock. I think that's the bandit, actually. Um, I know you guys probably want to see the new guy, but because I don't really know him very well, I'm gonna go with the good old commando. And uh, we're gonna play on hardcore because why not? So here's my four uh, attacks I can do here. This is my basic attack, and then these other attacks kind of have cooldowns, and I'll show you how that works. All right, we're starting off in the desolate forest. Um, wow, I'm very excited. So like I said, this is gonna be my first impressions. I have not played this closed beta version. Played a lot of the alpha. Uh, played a good amount of the demo. Um, and basically, I'm this little guy right here. You see in the middle, and. <clears throat> You see up on the right, there is a difficulty meter. Now, you saw that we picked Hardcore, which is this right here, but it says very easy. Why does it say that? Well, because this game is kind of like a race against the clock. Uh, as you go on, this meter right here will go higher and higher and higher. Um, more enemies will spawn, and the game gets harder as you go. So you don't really want to... You don't want to dilly-dally, basically. Um, and the, the point of the game is to find a teleporter hidden uh, in each level. It's going to be randomly placed. Um, there are a few different variations of the levels as far as I know right now. Um, the levels are not procedurally generated, um, although the items and the spawning of the monsters, you know, are all pretty random. Um, so what we're doing is we're looking for the teleporter. Whoops, we want to activate the teleporter. Once we activate the teleporter, there'll be 90 seconds of just crazy amounts of enemies spawning everywhere. And Wow, there's nothing over here. Okay. So this is the end of this level. I'm going to go back to the right looking for the teleporter. Like I said, you activate the teleporter, about 90 seconds go by, and it just becomes chaos. Monsters spawn everywhere, and you basically need to kill all the monsters that spawn, get your items, and then move on to the next level. All the while, your difficulty meter is going to be rising fast and fast. Fast and faster. Um, I believe on Hardcore... I think the difficulty level, as far as I know, just means that the the meter goes up faster. Now, this is a little thing. If any if any devs are watching right now, um, I'm hanging on the rope here. You see, there's there's some space here, so that that's gonna have to be. Wow, look at that. <laughs> you guys see that? So I can go all the way down. Interesting. Anyway, clock is ticking. Let's not. Uh, I'll send. I'll submit that to the bug report. Like I said, it is a beta, so of course you're gonna have little things like that. Um, a lot of guys there. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble. They can stack up very quickly, and you can easily take a lot of damage if you're not careful. Um, now, I'm used to the commando. I like the commando. Um, I like. You got to use his roll move. You can. You're basically invulnerable. Whoops! While you're, you're basically invul uh, invulnerable while you're doing your little roll here. And I'm shooting the wrong way. I, uh, okay. This guy. I think my commando needs some glasses. Um, now. You should you shouldn't really be doing what I'm doing right now. I'm spending way too much time in one place, but I am I am making some gold. So when I get some items, when I come across some items, I will be able to purchase them because I now have money. But you, this game you really want to keep moving. That's the name of the game. Keep moving. Let's see. Our first item is this is a new item. Chance to knock enemies backwards. Boxing gloves. Awesome. My first item is a new item. Psyched about that. Okay. 
Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. So it says a chance to knock back enemies. Let's see. Well, I need enemies. Okay, so three minutes went by, and you see the difficulty went from very easy to easy. So I get three minutes, basically, my segments last three minutes. Um, and I am taking a long time already dilly-dallying. Don't want to do it, because things build up quickly. Um, right now you're like, hey, Joey, where, where, where are all the enemies? That is one, one issue that I, that I have with this game, is that when you first start a level, it takes a long time for enemies to start spawning, even even when when you're on higher difficulty level further on. In the beginning, it takes a while. Whoops! It takes a while for enemies to spawn. Not sure why that is. Whoa! That was awesome. Did you see? That there's little boxing glove uh, graphics up there too. Let's see what do I get. Oh, and I got the monster tooth. So this heals after every kill I make. I, I heal, which is which is great. You need re health regeneration. It's good to get it in the beginning of the game as well. Wow! That's my awesome. Wow! That is great. So. If I get excited, it's because, you know, I feel like a kid in a candy store right now. This game is just great. Um, wow, okay. Too many jellies, too many jellies, too many jellies. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I, I am spending too much time just killing these guys. I need to find the teleporter and GTFO this bee, if you know what I'm saying. Um, especially because we're playing in hardcore, so the difficulty will ramp up very quickly. Now, you don't have to kill all these enemies that spawn. The only enemies that you have to kill is once you activate the t teleporter. Any enemies that spawn afterwards, you have to kill before you go on to the next stage. Um, we should be coming across the teleporter. All right, so now we have a little bit of a shop here. Um, they give you a choice between three different items. I'm just going to knock that guy. He's probably going to keep bouncing up here. So you got these glasses here, which kind of give you a, a chance for double attack. The one in the middle is going to be health regeneration. I'm going to go to get the glasses because I think... Um, a chance to get double attack is gonna help me out right now. I already have my health regeneration with my monster tooth, so there we go. Chance to do double damage. All right, uh, I can afford this too because I've been just killing these guys. Ooh, that's a new item. What is this? Harvester Scythe. Critical hits heal you. Okay, wow, that's awesome. I am not gonna bother with this green skull because he is one of my most. Ha oh, there's the teleporter. Okay, he's one of my most of all hated uh, enemies. Get out of here. Um, okay, I activated the teleporter, and now you'll see. Okay, I get a wandering vagrant. My least favorite boss, but the uh, the easy the this is the easy version. The colored guys have a lot of HP and they're really hard. Um, now I haven't explored over to the right yet, but I don't really want too many item too many enemies to spawn because it gets a little tough on the right when you get a lot of enemies around. You can get really hemmed up. So I'm actually gonna go to the left because I feel like I'd rather have them spawn um, to the left. Ooh, that's a new sound effect right there that the jelly has. So you see, he shoots these little missiles at me. Wow, I love that new sound effect. Um, this is great. Okay, all right. Okay, easy, easy. All right, all right. Okay, things are getting a little, uh, little intense here. Um, that's how the game goes. It's a very intense game. Uh, I want to take him out. It seems like the vagrant. Whoop, watch it. it. Seems like the vagrant got a buffed a little bit. I could be wrong. All right, let me get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right. And as you see, my my special or my special skills on the bottom you see there's cooldowns so I just can't roll all over the place believe me I wish I could um, but basically what you want to do is after you after you activate the teleporter you're gonna want to keep moving if you stay in the same place after you activate the teleporter you are guaranteed to die you will get overwhelmed very quickly now I, I realize I'm running to a dead end here but that's fine we only have five seconds left while enemies are spawning once this 90 seconds is up the enemies will stop spawning and so now there's 54 enemies left. Oh, and these jellies are gonna be a problem. Uh, you can get overwhelmed by the jellies very easily. They're hard to, they're hard to dodge. Um, here we go. Oh, let me get these guys like that. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Come on. I got this though, guys. I got this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. I got it. He's gonna go down very, very quickly. Come on. Go down. There he is. Ooh, and he left me something new. He left me something new. What is this? Um, looks like a bag of sorts. Looks like a, a doctor's bag. What is it? Unlocked. Defeat 20 Lemurians. I won't play through. That's easy peasy. Ooh, another new item. Wait, wait. Why did that drop? What did I just kill to drop that? That's Oh, it's a monster log. Awesome. Okay, cool. That's really cool. All right, so we'll be able to check out him and our little monster log later. Now, what does this do? Smart shopper. Enemies drop extra gold. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, after the alpha, you they stopped... Um, you lose your gold when you go into the next stage. So I have lots of gold right now. Oh, also I can tell 
Uh oh, okay. Easy, 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 easy. These guys are gonna be no problem. Um, the music's a little different. The song's a little different. I heard a little bit of a, like a remix going on. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> these guys are a piece of cake. You just gotta, you know, you gotta be careful. You can't. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Woo! Alright. <clears throat> easy peasy. Now, if you remember, we did not explore the right of the map. I'm wasting a lot of time on level one. Oh, got stuck there. Wasting a lot of time on level one. It's not good because that means the second level, which is usually the fungal haven, I believe. That level can be really, really, really tough. Come on, guy. What are you doing? All right. So I don't really want to dilly dally, but I, uh, the layout of the teleporter and and I just I'm, I'm a little okay. I'm I'm, uh, I'm wasting too much time here, but I do want to explore over here because I you. Basically, what you want to do is you want to get out of the level as fast as possible, but you want to maximize your power-ups. Now, this is a shrine. This is sort of like a gambling shrine. You know, $17, you may get an item. This item is a fire shield. It's an older item from the alpha. Not my favorite item. Um, but they can't all be missiles, you know. So let's try him again. Okay, he robbed me there, but I got so much money, it doesn't matter. Keep robbing me. That's why I hate these things. Usually, I'll stop. Ugh, see? That's the easy one. Oh, good. Now, now I can get the hoof to drop. All right, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're not getting any more of my money. I hate those things with a passion, man. I really do, cause they'll just ah, cause they'll just sit there and take all your money. I mean, it's ah, oh, I get I get angry. I'm sorry. Although I may have enough gold to to hit him up again. Okay, so that's a drone. I don't usually like picking up the drones. I think they're kind of a waste of money. Um, I'm a solo guy, man. I don't really need his help, but I'll take him. Um, that's a great item right there. Killing an enemy permanently increases your health. It's good to get that early on. Because now my max health will grow. Um, I pretty much got most all the items I believe in this level. So I'm just going to waste the rest of my gold on this guy. Oh, cool. And he gives me... Uh, you gain gold over time with that one. So that's cool. Help me make back all some of the money that you just stole from me. Uh, so we got seven enemies left. It's already ten minutes in, man. I, I am not doing well. Not doing well. Okay, now this is an imp shrine. You basically want to kill all these guys and you'll get an item. So the last guy fell down here somewhere. Come on, guy. Oh! What is that? I don't know what it is. What did it say? What did it say? Let's hover over here. Summon a ghost for every enemy in the screen. Wow. Okay, so you probably want to use that when there's a ton of enemies out there. That's a new item as well. Uh, whoops. Let's get rid of these guys before they go. Come on. Okay. These two are going to be a piece of cake, and I get another piggy. All right, so gold's going to be good. We're going to be good on gold. Um, seven more enemies. Do not play like me, kids. You do not want to spend... Over 10 minutes on the first level. Because <laughs> as you will see, I will probably get rocked on level 2. I will probably have bosses spawning before I even activate the teleporter. Guaranteed. You watch. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Easy. I'm going to wait. Let's use this awesome little item here. Let's wait till there's a bunch of enemies on the screen and see what we get. Let's use it. Okay, so I just used it. Are there ghosts? So are they fighting each other? I don't get it. I'm confused. Okay, so those are my buddies. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, that's cool. I like that. Wow, can you imagine using that item when you have like a ton of guys? Oh wow. All right, now where's this this last this last hanger on? Let's go. Come on, buddy. So I think I did get the max power ups for this level, but I did spend way too much time, way too much time here. All right, buddy, let's go. Golly, 12 minutes on level one. This is not cool. A lot of extra gold. So when you go to the next level, your gold will uh, basically be converted into XP. So maybe I will level up. Um, I could really use a goat hoof right now. Uh, when you first start this game, you are slow. So slow. And I feel like I'm just trotting along here. Uh, let's go. Come on. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to get destroyed next level. I spent way too much time here. The difficulty is already on very hard. And I haven't even got to level two. Let's do it. Okay. Whee! <laughs> Fall damage, and let's roll. Damp Caverns, Fungal Haven. Okay, there's going to be a bunch of items down here that I am not going to be able to afford right away. So I'll have to come back. Now let's hurry up and... Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about attacking these guys. I'm going to go straight for the teleporter as soon as I can. Um, because we're already on very hard. Difficulty is already on very hard. I don't want to sit and dilly dally. I was, I want to get the teleporter and keep moving. 
Now when you play this on regular difficulty, the first level, you can kind of spend a little more time and you, you can kind of farm a little bit, but farming is not really advised in this game. Uh, in my opinion at least because, oh my god, okay, oh Jesus. I'm not going to fight this guy. I'm not going to fight this guy. Uh, oh, he can cross this too, can he? Alright, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Actually, I might just blast him. Oh, this guy too. So he can teleport. He's one of the harder enemies. Um, I am just going to take these two guys out. See how he just teleported right to me? Okay. Whoop. I said I wasn't going to sit here and farm, but... Um, I could stand to do a little more damage. Um, I could use... I could... I need to get some items that will give me some more damage. Because I'm not really doing a whole lot of damage. As you can see, it's taking me a long time to kill these guys. Um, Alright. So, and I... I, I I, st I don't even have enough money. Ooh, okay, these guys are coming up behind me. Oh, no, here. Nice. I just sicked my ghosties on these guys. That's awesome. Okay. What chaos? What chaos is happening? Look at this chaos. Oh, my gosh. Okay, do I have enough money to get this power up. Give me something good. All right, I will take it. I will definitely take it. See? I you see how you can easily get overwhelmed? I'm getting overwhelmed. Oh, my drone is smoking. Oh, and he's dead. Ow, it's fall damage. Okay. Whew, got out of there quickly. I need to find the teleporter right away. It's not going to be over here. I don't think it's going to be over here. I get the feeling it's going to be down here in the corner. Or maybe up here on the right. I'm, I'm having a bad luck with my choice of paths and my, my finding of the teleporter. Having a lot of bad luck right now with the location of the teleporter and how long it's taking me to do this. There's a the teleporter. There's the teleporter. Activate it. Just activate it and just start running, basically. So, there's a little bit of stra- Oh my god. Okay. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Ooh, can I make a ghost of- Okay. Oh my god. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, 90 seconds are gonna go. We're gonna let these guys spawn. Now, this shrine is sort of like a blood sacrifice thing. I can sacrifice, you know, X amount of HP for a chance. It's not guaranteed for a chance of winning an item. Not gonna do that right now. Not gonna do that right now. Right now we're gonna concentrate on just just moving. We're just gonna keep moving. Okay? Um, I can't even afford any of this stuff. So I might stay here and try to... I might stay here and try to get some of these items. Whoa, whoa easy. Alright. Uh oh. I can afford that one though. Give me something good. Give me some barbed wire. Nope, I'll take that. That is a very important uh, item, use item. Arguably the best use item in the game. Uh, it can just heal you. A lot of people will say, well, Joey, you know, what about missiles? You know, they're pretty awesome. They're, they're like the best item to get. Well, at the later stages of the game, you want to be able to heal more than you can do damage. Because at the later stages of the game, you can do a lot of damage. Um, but you can be dealt a lot of damage very quickly. And that's where this healing item comes into play. And I'm sure I will use it before I exit this level. If I exit this level. Okay, I just heard something crazy. I'm hearing all sorts of things. All right, 76, okay, 56 items uh, remaining. It says 76 when the worm is on, so I don't know if that's like a bug, if they're gonna change that. They should probably just count him as one. I guess he's got little bits. Okay, I, can, I can't even afford that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, because, wow, I think that's the worm's new sound effect. Yeah. So, since there are gonna be no more enemies spawning, I'm just going to sit and concentrate on taking him out, I think, and maybe exploring a little bit. Um, I did explore most of the world. Um, there's nothing up here. Okay. Just take him out. I just want to take him out, basically. Alright. See? Expensive drones. Now, I got in the habit of not using drones while I was playing the alpha. Uh, in the alpha, you get to keep your gold. Um, so gold was really valuable in alpha because you could save your gold and then use it to get items early on in the next stage uh, Since the demo You lose all your gold when you go to the next stage, so the drones are a little more useful Because you have the gold you might as well get them, but, but they die too easily and they cause too much to resurrect And if you're a boss like me, you don't need those drones Haha <laughs> Uh, my cockiness is going to get, uh, you're gonna see I'm gonna, gonna die after saying how great I am at this game. No, I'm pretty good at this game. There's a lot of people I can see on the, ah, on the official forums are better than me. There's some super, super duper high scores, uh, on the forums, which is awesome. 
All right, I can get this piggy bank. Wow. Okay, man. Um, I got enough piggy banks. Okay. All right. I don't even. Uh, I don't even want to use that thing, man. He's gonna rob me. You know what? I am gonna use this. I'll show you guys this. So I'm gonna hit this thing. That didn't work out for me. I'm gonna hit him again, man. I'm getting dangerous. Ooh, when I get a piggy. Are you kidding me? Okay, now I can use my healing and see, see how uh, how useful that item is. It's very very useful. All right, man. I just let's get to work here. I'm taking way too long. I'm taking way too long here. Come on, where are you? At? All right, buddy. There you go. I'm loving the new ah. I'm loving the new sound effects. Loving the new sound effects, guys. Whoop. Beautiful. When you hear that little high clink, bing, bing, that means I'm doing double damage there. Or that's a critical hit. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have, I forgot he was down here. Um, can I actually hit him from up here? No, he's not taking any damage. Okay, so I can't, I can't cheat him. Nah, I gotta get out of here. I can't, I can't face him just yet. So yeah, so I'll come down here. Whew, I, I feel, I feel a little overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. Um... The magma worm, he got buffed a bit. He used to not have that much HP. I just need to take care of him and the rest of these 56 guys, and then I'll take on the I'll take on the uh, the ancient wisp. Hit this man! I'm I'm not very lucky with these things. Hit it again? No! Wow! I hate those things, man. I oh, okay. Uh, I, ugh. I'm, I'm all right, guys. I'll be honest. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Wow. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Um, damn, it doesn't help when I'm shooting the opposite way. It, it's your guy's so small. It's a little hard to see uh, Usually I play in full screen, but I can't really record it in full screen it doesn't really work that way for some reason I'm having a hard time recording this program So I'm playing in a window, which means my guy's even smaller um, Oh, what is that? That is a new item and it looks awesome Ceremonial dagger killing an enemy fires spirit bolts. Well, let's see Let's see. All right. This is gonna be a bit tough. I still have um, I am not happy with- oh my god, I am not happy with the collection of items I have right now. So just like in a game, and, and just like in roguelikes, really, um, the, the items that you get greatly determine your survivability. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, so there's my ceremonial dagger. Alright. Uh. Alright, so, yeah. Um, okay, easy, easy. That's why this item is invaluable, really. Um... But anyway, so like I said, uh, kind of like the same deal in The Binding of Isaac. The items that you get, ooh, that is so cool. The items that you get are pretty much will determine how well you do. And the collection of items I have right now, not the worst, but I'm, you know, there's a few things that I really could use. Like, um, I really could use a, a, a goat's hoof, which will, oh, damn it, which will speed me up. Um, that'll be very useful right now. Um... I could really use a jetpack, which will helps you jump higher. Um, maneuver uh, mo mobility is is really key in this game. Okay. Oh, do I, well, I have a lot of gold? I'll, I'll check it out. I, I'm really getting screwed by these guys lately. Man, I'm so mad. Okay, it th really does boil my blood. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it really seriously does boil my blood. Those those items or those shrines. I can't stand it, man. I I, I mean look at that. I lost so much HP. I lost so much gold. Pricks. They're pricks. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. No. These green skulls, man, are very powerful. Very powerful indeed. In the little the little green ones are powerful too. I think I'm not sure, but I think the color coding has something to do with what kind of powers they have. Um, now you see me, I'm rolling through him just because I'm used to having barbed wire, which, or, or, you know, farmer, or I'm sorry, fireman's boots or whatever. I, I just, I don't have a lot of offensive, uh, items right now. Okay, so, um, not really happy with my, whoa, with my items, my item drops right now. But, that's okay. Because, um... We'll get more as we go along. You know, I I have a lot of HP. So, you know, I'm not doing too bad. What do we get here? Got another one of those. Alright, I'll take it. I could really use some shackles right now. Some shackles would be nice. <clears throat> the shackles, uh... 
give you a chance to sort of slow your enemies, and then when you're fighting a lot of enemies like this, you can hit them all with your, um, I believe it's your full metal jacket, which, which, your full metal jacket attack will, will hit, attack everybody all in a row, so, that becomes very useful. Alright, we're, we're moving along, we're moving along. Um, I didn't really want, I didn't really want this video to get too out of hand. Already we've been playing for about 23 minutes. But that's another reason why I played on hardcore, because I figured it would shorten the, uh, the video a little bit. I might, I might do this in two parts. Actually, I think that's what I'm gonna do. If I, if I pass, if I survive this stage, we're just gonna call it and then, uh, we'll continue on in another video. Um... Just so I can upload this one quickly, because I know people are probably going to want to see videos of this new, the new version. I'm going to knock these guys right off this platform. Sometimes you don't want to knock them off, so I'll just try to get these guys in a corner here. And they're not going to be able to see me. Now, I got four piggy banks, man. I am loaded. So I can't afford to actually lose money at these shrines. But I just, I don't like being taken. I don't like getting got. I'm sorry, I just don't. Alright. Oh, I w this is taking forever because I'm not really doing a whole lot of damage right now. I need, um... Wow, I mean, there's so many useful items in this game. There really are so many items in this game. I'm liking the, I'm liking the boxing gloves, though. Alright, 17 items, uh, 17 enemies left. And I still have the wisp I gotta deal with, but he's right down by the teleporter, so I can, uh... So oh, look at that. Ooh, easy. So I can, um... Aw, oh, damn it. Didn't mean to knock him off there. Man, that's cool. Can you imagine? I only got two of these things. Can you imagine if you had, like, five, six of them? These guys would be flying all over the place, man. Oh, uh, come on. Let's do this. Okay. Whoop! I don't want to knock him off this way, so let's... There we go. Um, I could use some... What was that? That poison item. That would be really good. Uh, okay. 24 minutes and I'm only on level 2. Oh, and I gotta deal with these guys. Oh, man. Let me see if I can just knock them all down there. Come on. Get Alright, go ahead. There we go. <laughs> that item is really fun, man. Really, really fun. I imagine the devs have as much fun making this game as we have playing it, because, I mean... It's got to be a blast, right? Um, so, if there's anybody out there who has, who missed out on the Kickstarter, uh, I believe they are going to offer Kickstarter-style rewards on the Humble page. Um, so you'll be able to, I believe they've still opt into the closed beta if you want. Um, it'll probably take a while until they get that stuff set up, but it, I believe that is going to be an option for you. So, all, all hope is not lost. You're not gonna, you, you don't have to wait till the game is fully released. I believe the release date is set for sometime in August. Um, but they did hit a lot of stretch goals. So they are gonna have a lot of extra stuff. I believe there are gonna be things like, um, arena mode, which I'm look, very much looking forward to. There's gonna be, oh, let me get this item over here. Um, nope. So that's a use item. You can only have one use item at a time. At a time. That item... One of the more useless use items, I believe. If you don't have use item, sure, it's good. It basically just, you, uh, I believe that that item lets you heal uh, when you do damage. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, jetpack, baby. Now we're moving. Now, if I just get a, a, a goat's hoof, I'll be doing good. I'll be doing really good. All right. So for all you people who are only familiar with the demo... You're missing out on the jetpack, man. Um, since I have so much money, I'm gonna pick up this missile drone. That's cool. So he's a new drone. I can't tell you how fun it is when you have, like, eight jetpacks. When you get eight jetpacks, man, you are zooming all over the place. Now, one one thing that I hope is in this closed beta is the third level of the alpha that got removed for the demo. That was one of my favorite levels. Um, it was a tough level. But that level's great when you have a bunch of jetpacks. So, I'm gonna go spam this thing. Come on. Ooh, okay. Shopping. Enemies drop extra gold. God, I am just like a gold uh, vacuum uh, this this run. I mean, I'm... Okay, let's just... Whew. 
This thing is not paying off. There we go. I'll take it. Toxic centipede. Great. Cool. Um, <laughs> now, uh, I don't really have much health. I don't want to get killed by this wisp down here. So, um, I'm going to... It's taking me a while to... Wait, did I get a thing where I, I regenerate if I just stand still for a couple seconds? And that might have been when I was testing recording. My regeneration is very slow right now. Um, that was maybe kind of stupid of me. Now, I, I, I'm actually just... I got about 15 seconds and I can get my big heal, but I'm gonna do fall damage when I when I when I land down here. And our, our ancient wisp friend is gonna be down here, so you know what? Let's just go. Let's go for it. Come on. Boom. Alright, now I, I, as long as I jump every time or roll when he does his little uh, attack, you'll see. There you go. Dodged. Doing good, doing good. Now I can heal. I'm back up to full health. Look at that man. Brand good as new, good as new. Uh-huh. Dodge. An attack. Yeah, this is easy peasy, guys. We're gonna go on level three, no problem. We are gonna go on to level three. Absolutely no problem. Woo. This guy's got nothing on me. He's got nothing. Now, there's two enemies. I don't know where the other one is. I'm. Oh, that's awesome. My drone is taking a long time to fire, but he's doing it. So when you get... when you, All right, what do I get? What do I get? Oh, 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 I forgot. He leaves a... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. This is no joke. Oh, oh okay. All right, I'm just gonna go spam these guys from over here. Wow. Oh, man, and they got me. It was painful. All right, guys, well, there's your first look at the closed beta, Risk of Rain. Um, not bad, level 12 uh, for a hardcore run. I I'm happy with it. Actually, no, I'm not happy with it. I thought I was gonna get out of there. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little pissed off, <clears throat> but that's okay. We'll go. We'll, we'll do better next time. All right, guys. So uh, I'm gonna keep making videos of this, man. I think uh, I think you guys are really gonna want to see this. Um, I'm gonna get a little familiar with some of the other characters. Hopefully, I'm gonna unlock that bandit. And uh, so yes, if you guys enjoyed the video, please comment, like, subscribe, etc., etc., and stay tuned for more Risk of Rain. I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot.